Good evening, everyone. I'm Mohamed Atiyah, and I'm an executive member of the Carl Sandburg International Club. I have the pleasure to be your MC for tonight. On behalf of the sponsors, executive board, and club members, we would like to welcome you to the 2022-2023 rendition of the Carl Sandburg International Fest performance. Our executive board and club members have been working hard since the beginning of the year to learn more about their culture and practice their customs. Yeah. The Carl Sandburg International Club embodies the rich and diverse culture of Sandburg to allow students to connect to their roots. This promotes fellowship of all students and appreciates their own backgrounds, interests, and values, which makes for an astonishing learning environment. This year, we're excited to showcase 14 amazing cultures represented in our student body. Each group has devoted many hours to their performance. So relax, and we hope you enjoy the show. Now give a round of applause for our leaders.
coming for the first time, the Baltic Group. Now give them a round of applause. Dance is Molinere, which translates to Little Mill. That
top is a sort of overcoat, which is what we call a chokuri. So today we are performing a traditional dance, which is called um, Putechum, or translated to fan dance. And we will be performing three modern songs. Thank, Thank you. you. that you would 
would wear when you first start out dancing. And these are solo dresses when you get competitive and to a championship level. And today we're going to be doing a hard shoe and a soft shoe dance. So these are hard shoes, they're like a uh, tap shoe. And then we have soft shoes, which are like a ballerina slipper. Um, we will be performing a traditional jig and a modern reel. And then a traditional horn pipe and a modern treble reel. Be ready to clap. Thank you. Thank you.
give a round of applause to the African American group. protect our hair, and they just give off a good vibe. Now, are y'all ready to hear some dancing? Uh, wasn't loud enough. Let's hear some more. Now get ready for us, because we're coming.
from a traditional dance to a modern technique. Here is the Polish group. Not And we're the leaders of the Polish IHS group. And we're excited to show you a traditional Polish Highlander dance along with modern disco polo and jump style. And we would like to welcome our outfit showers. This is Seba, that's Carolina. So the tradition this is a traditional Polish outfit. The guys tend to wear a hat, a white shirt with detailing. This is called a spinka right here. They have set pants and kente, which are the shoes that we're wearing. And then the girl, she always wears her hair either in a braid or a braided bun with a white detailed shirt. These are called korona, which are beads, along with earrings, and then a gorset, stolski, this ribbon, and a splenita, the skirt. Thank you so much. We're excited to show you guys what we have.
traditional clothing that Cherokee uh, people would wear. And then we have a beaded uh, belt. And we also have a shawl that has a color that we feel best represents us in the Cherokee culture. And we also have a, our spirit animal, which you will see in a bigger size later. For our dances, for the first traditional dance, it will be a women's shawl dance or a butterfly dance. It's supposed to represent a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. Um, and for our second traditional dance, we will be doing a friendship dance where we will invite some of our friends on the stage to celebrate our friendship. Uh, and then for our modern dance, uh, we will be using some uh, semi-popular modern music. Um, and you will see that some of our dances are heavily influenced by American culture today because um, recent, now Native culture is American culture. So thank you, we hope you enjoy. The Middle East group will be performing a mixture of modern dances. Now give a round of applause for the Middle East group. Attire. My name is Anama Yesh, and I'm a leader of the Middle Eastern group. And 
And with me, I have Aman. She's a senior and she's wearing a hand stitched traditional Palestinian tov with a on it. Over here, we have Leila Abdul Al, and she's a senior and she's wearing a traditional Palestinian tov with a tov. Most of these are traditionally worn for traditional events like weddings or hangouts to show off cultural pride. Each tov is hand stitched with an embroidery. She's wearing a very traditional black thong with red cross stitch and beautiful floral patterns down the middle and off the cuffs of the sleeves. She has a matching red and black tatris headband with a traditional gold, gold coin fringe. Today, we'll be performing two dances. Our first dance is a very popular one. It's called Dabka, and our second one is called the Hayyan. Now let me hear it from my Middle Eastern group.
welcoming next to the stage is the Italian group, where they will be performing a mixture of modern and traditional dances. Now give them a round of applause. Ciao, my name is Kayla. And I'm Marissa, and we are the leaders of the Italian group. This year we will perform three dances. The first one is our traditional dance. It's the Tarantella. It's danced in pairs as dancing it by yourself is bad luck. And then our other two dances are going to be more modern. We thank you for coming and I hope you enjoy. Next to the stage is the Greek group, where they will be performing a mixture of modern and traditional dances. Now give them a big round of applause. Kalispera, I'm Maria, my name is Deminga, and we're the leaders of the Greek group. Tonight we're going to be performing a variety of dances from different parts of Greece. Our first dance is Susta, which is from the island of Crete. 
Our second dance is Ikariotiko from the island of Ikaria. Our third dance, which is performed by our boys, is Ibaikiko, which is typically danced as a solo or as a duo. Our fourth dance is Kalamatiano, which is the most popular traditional Greek dance. And our fifth and final dance is Zorba from Zorba the Greek. For our outfits this year, we wanted to incorporate more of a traditional look. So George here is modeling for our boys. They are wearing an all-black outfit with a red sash. Um, this comes from the islands of Crete. Thank you, George. And our girls are wearing a traditional um, Amania costume, which consists of a white blouse, a colorful silk skirt, and a velvet jacket with gold embroidery paired with gold coin accessories, which symbolizes good fortune and luck. Thank you, and enjoy the show.
<laughs> Next up, let's give it for the African group. They are here to showcase dancers from all parts of the continent. Now give them a round of applause. That means good evening in the Nigerian dialect of Yoruba. On behalf of the African IFAST, I, Adwala Ugo Ogenigbe, would like to welcome you to our African culture. I am beyond grateful that my friends and I were able to start the African IFAST this year and showcase our beautiful culture to the best of our abilities. Our dances come from all parts of Africa, North, Central, East, South, and West, and though there are many traditional clothing, we are wearing a Nigerian wrapper called Plain George, and traditional jewelry worn during ceremonial events, such as weddings. We hope to tell a story through our dancing, instead of just providing mere entertainment. Though it wasn't easy to cover the whole continent of Africa, our dances have our dance is a collection of both modern and traditional music from all over Africa. Music and dance in several parts of African societies and structure. For example, our third dance, Attention by Philip Kuti, comments on the repressive governmental system that some countries operate on. Without further ado, we present to you African Icon!
Next to the stage is the German group, where they will be performing a mixture of modern and traditional dances. Now please give them a round of applause. Hello, ich heiße Essie and I'm the leader for German Eye Fest. Today we'll be doing a mix of four dances. We have two traditional mixes and two modern dances. I am wearing a traditional German drundel and my friend Nick here is wearing a traditional German lederhose. We hope you enjoy the show. Thank you so much for coming. Familia, familias, muchas gracias por su apoyo y también para los papás de Charlotte para dejarnos usar su casa. 
conclude, we would like to end off with our unity dance. But before that, I would like to welcome our amazing sponsors, Mrs. Murray and Mrs. Abdelaziz. Now give them a round of applause. for months now. We started in August and to see them progress from August till now is amazing. So thank you guys for coming and supporting your children at home too and we have one more dance for you guys and drive safe. Thank you. Without them, this presentation would not have been possible. They have undergone tremendous amounts of organization and commitment to allow for a successful club. Now, give a big round of applause for our executive board, club members, and most importantly, our amazing sponsors, Mrs. Murray and Mrs. Abdelaziz.